Credibility is perhaps the most important factor in being an effective leader. Without being able to walk the talk, no one will be willing to walk behind you. Cotter summed up the issue of credibility in leadership when commenting on the role of leaders in communicating change. He draws attention to the fact that many things contribute to credibility, the track record of the person delivering the message, the content of the message, the communicator's reputation for integrity and trustworthiness, and the consistency between words and deeds. In fact, many well-known leadership authors have written that credibility is the foundation of leadership. Hassel and Grover support this view through a summary of trust outcomes identified in previous studies. They identified trust between followers and their leader as being responsible for increased follower well-being, increased leader effectiveness in achieving team outcomes, better organisational citizenship, increased follower morale, and increased overall performance. The word trust almost always appears alongside integrity and credibility, and this is for good reason. Trust scholars such as Gillespie and Mann, Hassel and Grover, and Zafane all hold that trust is the cornerstone of credibility. In discussing the role of trust in transformational leadership, Gillespie and Mann define trust as a psychological state comprising the intention to accept vulnerability based upon positive expectations of intentions or behaviour of another. Zafane also reports that trust involves faith or confidence in the intentions or actions of a person or group, the expectation of ethical, fair and non-threatening behaviour, and concern for the rights of others in exchange relationships. Importantly, while contemporary models of leadership which derive from the transformational leadership model obviously differ in some ways to each other in their focus, Gillespie and Mann note that all theories posit trust as a central feature of the relationship that leaders have with their followers. And they postulate that it is through follower trust and respect in their leader that they are motivated to perform beyond expectations. In other words, effective leaders need to ensure consistency between their values, their words and their actions. Kuzas and Posner note that in surveys which asked followers to describe credibility in leaders they admire, the responses they received were remarkably similar. Leaders practice what they preach. Leaders walk the talk. Leaders' actions are consistent with their words. Leaders back their words with resources and rewards. Leaders follow up on their promises. And leaders do what they say they will do. Given the central importance of trust in effective leadership, we absolutely need to understand the process of trust formation and maintenance, as well as how precarious trust can be. Why precarious? A clue is provided by words such as consistency, intention, faith and track record used in describing trust. These words imply that if an event occurs that is attributed to the leader, and this event acts to prevent a follower from now seeing a consistent pattern of behaviour based on leaders' past actions, then trust will be diminished or broken. This is why it can take a long time to build trust, since this is a requirement of consistency but it can be undone in an instant. One break with a consistent pattern of behaviour creates doubts about whether that break will happen again. This is why rebuilding trust is also a long process. It is far better not to break the pattern in the first place. So, what is the pattern or process of trust formation? Safane and Gillespie and Mann link many of the concepts we have covered so far in the course in answering this question. Firstly, Zafane noted that trust formation begins by the leader understanding their own values and having a clear understanding of self and how this produces their behaviours. Secondly, Zafane notes that this allows the leader to communicate what their values are and how they will interact with followers. This establishes a base from which to proceed. Zafane notes that in establishing this platform or base, these values must be values that followers share with the leader and that leader behaviours must be positive. That is to say, leader behaviours should be considerate, fair, tolerant, generous, compassionate and other focused. Thirdly, Zafane noted that over time, leaders need to demonstrate absolute consistency with the values that they espouse and their enactment through their actions. Gillespie and Mann showed the specific kinds of leader behaviours that align to transformational leadership. Idealised influence is demonstrated by communicating and role modelling important values and a shared sense of purpose. Inspirational motivation is demonstrated by confidently communicating attractive and attainable goals for the team. 
Individualised consideration is demonstrated by the leader communicating their willingness to understand the needs and capabilities of followers and to put effort into developing their individual strengths and serving their needs. Finally, intellectual stimulation is provided by encouraging and teaching followers to approach problems in new ways and critically re-examine assumptions. Credibility or integrity is perhaps the most important asset of an effective leader. It must never be put at risk and must be assiduously managed at all times. While in many ways its management requires consideration of all of the elements we have and will cover in this course, put simply, you must always do what you say you will do.